Hey guys, RC here, back with Graveyard Keeper, episode 16. I was looking at some uh, some YouTube numbers. Uh, there's two guys that I watch. You know my main save is Football Manager. Uh, so I am into my... Is this my third year or fourth year? I want to say I'm in my third year. Uh, so I'm coming up on my four-year anniversary on YouTube. Uh... And I was just looking at my video count. I have posted, as of today when I'm recording this, I have posted 1,822 uh, unique videos to the channel. Um, you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back. Very consistent, I think, uh, with the exception of the recent uh, computer fiasco. Uh, there were two guys uh, that I know have been doing it much longer than me. Uh, one of them has 2,252 videos, and one of them has 2,706 videos. What, uh, <laughs> the thing that was, you know, that was telling was the number of videos per subscriber. Uh, you guys get over three videos for each one of you guys that are subscribed to the channel. Uh, so a lot of content for you. And uh, they're getting 0 0.02 and 0 0.04, something to that extent. Uh, but anyway, I just thought it was some interesting numbers, and I do like to keep track. Uh, milestone uh, episodes. Let's see. We do have a body in here. I haven't recorded this in a couple of days. So uh, we had already removed everything. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy in the ground. And we are going to go right here. All right. And we did discover a couple episodes back that we can actually scroll down and pick up the uh, chest over here. So that was really, really exciting. Because, bam, now we have a five-point grave. I want to say four, two... I don't remember which of these were already there. I think a lot of these, say like this, yeah, I don't know. We don't have a headstone on that one. I guess I need to go make some more headstones. Is there anything we need to do with the astrologer? I haven't gotten the acid or anything yet. So... Unfortunately, what I think this game is going to become, and I know there's a couple of you guys that are watching this, uh, Custer Prophet, I'm looking at you. Um, let me know what your feeling is, because, it, you know, unfortunately, with my recording schedule, uh, I am not really able to play ahead and observe you know, an astronomical amount, right? So, if you would prefer, I'm going to leave these grapes until I have to go back and open everything else. Um, so the problem is when there's not a lot of advancement in the game, you unfortunately are going to have to watch a lot of that dead time. Um, I mean, I can play ahead a, a little bit, but not, you know, not eternally. And, you know, in this case, I have it recorded in... About a week. And most of that is due to real life. We're getting into the very busy time of my job uh, during the holiday season. Um, sports starting up again. <laughs> you know, just, uh, you know, like Saturdays are my typical recording day. Yeah. And I spent Saturday uh, across town with... Uh, some you know the Leeds fans watching the Leeds United game uh, for the first week of the Premier League, so you know so that basically cost me recording 
probably five or six episodes or playing for about four or five hours. Uh, so, uh, if you do watch this series, let me know what you think. I mean, you know, do you want, do you want me to end up skipping episode, you know, skipping ahead and missing upload days in order to try to play more, uh, as my schedule permits, or do you want me to continue, uh, hitting my upload, uh, points even if it means an episode like this where we're not really doing a whole lot of anything. Um, I'll be interested to hear what you, what you have to say about that. Um, and we'll certainly defer to those of you watching this series as you know, I try to make my decisions on why can I not do more than one um, as far as trying to go you know move ahead with this particular save um, or it, you know and and be honest it won't hurt my feelings uh, if you do not you know do you have enough interest in in the series to really care one way or the other again I am going to defer uh, is that Why can I not? Oh, okay. I'm just full here, I suppose. So anyway, yeah, t you know, take that under advisement for, you know, whatever you think. And um, can I get rid of? Let's get rid of. Let's do that. Um, yeah, and like I said, if, if you, you know, if you would prefer me moving on to another series, another save of some sort, you know, that won't hurt my feelings in the least. Um, I, I enjoy this game, but again, now with, you know, things picking up for me, work related and also, uh, sports related now that, you know, sports are back and coming into, coming into the world again, that is something that, you know, is just going to take some time into the schedules that we have to adjust for. Uh, was it this one? Yeah. The bishops are coming. Uh, oh, what do we need for the bishop? He wanted, oh, four quality. Damn, I, did I forget to go fishing? I did. All right. Let's let's head over here real quick and we've got a fishing spot. There it is. I knew there was I thought there was one up here. All right, well let me do a little fishing, see if I can get uh, a quality fish and uh, see if we can't get back in time for the bishop to get the church enlarged. So I'll be right back. All right, well, problem is I did forget to go fishing, and the area that we were at only catch, I forget what they're called, gurgeon or gurgeon or something like that. And it takes brim, which we have to catch from another location. So I'm going to have to do that, but I need to make sure we do our sermon for the day. So let's knock that out. All right, so we got our six faith. Let's go ahead and drop those off. And our sermon. Come down and grab our money. All right, let's, I, I don't think we're going to get this done. I need to go back to the house, grab our teleportation stone, because I had left it over here. Was it this one? Teleportation stone. 
Oh, let's take all of these and oh, let's take our maggots and we'll leave that. All right, let's. I'm trying to remember where we caught the brim at. Oh, hello. Oh, there was a there's a silver wine. Okay, so who needed the wine? Jerry wanted a wine. And wasn't there somebody else? I think there was somebody else. All right, let's uh, let's cash in our our burial certificates here for ten gold or ten silver. And I'm trying to remember. Oh, you know where we caught that brim at? I think. I want to say it was, I'm drawing a blank. It wasn't here. It was over by the quarry, maybe? Yeah, we haven't been here. Well, let's see what we catch. A gurgeon, a gudgeon. If that's all we catch here, we're gonna have to go to the quarry. And if that's what happens, yeah, shoot. All right, uh, let's. Was it the quarry? Pretty sure it was the quarry. It was, it was right here, I believe. Let's see what we get here. There's a brim. Okay, let's see if we can get home. Because I don't think he goes, I don't think he leaves till closer to midnight. Uh, all right, this is going to be rough. All right, yeah, we're hurting pretty bad here. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do for There are healing potions, but they don't they don't really do anything for you. All right, let's get in here. Uh let's grab that. All right, let's see if we can catch him now. Hopefully, nope, there, damn. Can we talk to him while he's walking? Nope, damn it. All right, well, let's check our inventory here. All right, we've got four quality fish fillet, and he wants the bishop. There we are, four quality fish fillets. It doesn't specify which one. All right, we do have the silver wine. Let's uh, let's give him a wine. We got a story. Cognac. All right, any ideas about cognac? You need to find and dig out an old keg. 
It's the old keepers between the village and the lighthouse. All right. Well, that'll give us something to work on. But right now, I believe we need to go call it a night here, dude. All right, what do we have that I can get rid of? All right, I'm going to keep the fish fillets in here. I'm going to chunk the bat wings in there. We're going to put the stories. I think I have the stories over at the church, but I'm going to go ahead and put those in there along with the fish. And... I'm going to keep these over here, too, so I don't spend them, right? Let's do that. All right, see you guys in the morning. All right, I slept a little bit later, but we are, you know, we still are not 100% healed, and that's okay. But let's go work on digging up these piles of dirt. And he said they were between the village and the lighthouse. So we'll just follow the road and see what we can spy. I have done this in my solo game, so I kind of remember what I'm looking for. All right, some silver nuggets. Oh, here comes Jerry. Where's my cognac? It's something big and metal. It can't be. The archaeological machine. This machine is more useful than a simple keg of cognac. Dig it up quickly. Keeper, stop. Uh-oh. See you in the cellar. Only landowners may dig in the village land. Moreover, everything in the village land is public property. You're too poor to bribe me. Whoa, hello. New task. Talk to Jerry about the machine you found. All right, well, let's teleport home. And we'll come out and see Jerry. I'm not going to worry about trees right now because we have, we have enough. I've left the carrots empty for the time being. I don't think we need to develop the graveyard anymore for right now. Oh, where am I going? Gee whiz. Jerry's in the morgue. All right. What do you got to say, Jerry, about the time machine? I figured it out. Buy some land and build a tavern. The tavern will be a cover. We'll dig out the cellar, and you might make some money. So this building the tavern is part of the newest expansion pack uh, DLC for the game. So this is something that if you're in the vanilla version, you won't have. So just a heads up if you're wondering where it is in your game. Buy some land. All right. So then we need to go back to Horatio in the village. And I do want to come back and see if our grapes are ready to dig up as well so we can get another pressing going. All right, let's see. Hey, how about you sell me a piece of land? 9,682 gold, 54 silver, and 11 copper. Buy the land in the name of a very poor and old villager. All right, so let's go see Dig. 
Dig, remember, is the old uh, person on the eastern side of the village. You bought, you can buy the, uh, I think there's honey you can buy from him. There is the oil for your cart, for the donkey cart. And uh, hemp seeds as well. Ding dong, bing bang, boom. Dig am I. I'm planning to build a tavern. Nah, you obviously don't mind. All right. So return to Horodric. There are more um, dirt piles that you can dig in on the southern side of the road. Uh, but once you dig in that, the one that we did, that has both times I've done it. Uh, has been that cutscene. So just a heads up. He, yeah, but about his sanity. No matter the cost is 30 silver. All right, so how much do we have? We have 14 silver. All right, uh, so that's a new item on the agenda. 30 silver. I need to get acid restoration tools. Oh, 10. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's go here. Get to the house. And didn't I leave? Did I leave it inside? must have somewhere there it is all right we're gonna take that we're gonna walk up this way check the rest of our grapes and then we want to go and see those guards I do need to buy some more silver level grapes nope don't have enough all right so let's pop these in there take those grapes actually we're gonna leave that we're gonna take the crop waste okay so grape seeds come from the merchant merchant comes on what day I forgot I've got it written down in my book somewhere there it is all right the merchant oh the merchant actually comes today so that's good to know all right well we do have the 10 silver wine I have 10 silver star wine. Why can I not? Maybe I have to give it to the Inquisitor. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Okay. So, oh well. That's done. It is getting on towards morning. So let's meander down to the main road, head over towards the village, and we will kind of wait for the merchant to show up. I think I am going to start planting more crops just to be able to make stuff to sell. That's my thought process. All right, I think that's the merchant there. It is. So he gets there right about daybreak. So that's that's good. All right, let's talk to him. Uh, I want to get eight of those. And then we'll come back. Um, I wonder... 
Now we're going to keep that silver wine. I might sell the, the copper wine or the brass wine, whatever it is. Not sure. I'm sure there is a min max chart somewhere on what to sell and you know what to make for to make the most money but you know most of this I'm just kind of winging it and the only little bit that I do know is from having played ahead a little bit uh, in my solo game which I haven't played uh, in a while <laughs> all right well that gives us a couple of more plots right planted all the seeds there that I've got so we're gonna head back this way and we're right up at about 30 minutes so um, I tell you what another thing so you know I, I asked you the question earlier uh, which was about about this particular save and uh, wanting to kind of pick your brain and see what you guys thought about certain things. Uh, but also, uh, the length of these videos, I, I, saw a, I saw a post on Twitter the other day, and I, I think uh, it came from a Reddit post maybe, but it was talking about the optimum video length. And basically it was, you know, 0 to 10, 11 to 16 or something like that. Uh, anyway, um, basically it was like, yeah, we think the, you know, the optimum vote was, where's my, oh, that's why, here we go. The optimum length was in the, in that 11 to 16 minute range. And I'm just, you know, and mine always tend to run about, uh, let's see. All right, so I've only got one silver. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have to let that go. Um, mine always run right at 30 minutes. That's just, you know, when I started watching YouTube, all the videos were right about you know, that 26 to 30 minute range. So that's just kind of what I got in the habit of recording. So that's another question. 30 minutes okay for you guys? Do you want something a little shorter and uh, condensed uh, with me cutting out a little, little more stuff? Uh, you know, I'm just looking how to tweak the channel and, and make it better for you guys that do take your time to watch it because I do appreciate that. And if I can make the viewing experience better for you, then I want to try to do that. So give me some feedback in the comments and uh, or hit me up over on my Twitter feed and uh, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. Guys, thanks so much again for coming by. You know, I always appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button. Talk to me in the comments. And as you know, I answer everybody because I'm not that busy with YouTube. And uh, so I, I haven't turned off all my uh, notifications and uh, if you're new give me a subscription down there if you don't mind and hit that little ding dong bell for your notifications on email when new videos go up six days a week talk to you later bye